welcome to the Lean Girl YouTube channel where today I'm doing the much requested full day of eating. So I'm gonna try and keep this video short. Um, I'm not gonna do too much of like just random clips of my day which I sometimes include in these vlogs because well basically I'm not doing anything today so that would be very very boring. So, uh, also I know when I watch what I eat in today, sometimes I just fast forward to the good parts when I actually see what people are eating. So I'm gonna try and keep it nice and short and just show you guys what I am currently eating and what a day, full day of eating looks like for me at the moment. I'm currently in a small calorie deficit, so I'm trying to aim for about 1,500 calories. And something that I did wanna mention and something, I'm like, I feel like I'm really holding my arm out um, really high, really far. Um, so something that I have been doing for a little while now is I actually try and aim for a calorie range instead of having one specific number that I aim for. I find that this just gives me a bit of space to move. Um, and also I just know when I'm tracking on my fitness pal and all of a sudden it goes into the red, like you all of a sudden feel like you had a bad day, even if it's just a few calories over. So actually giving myself an extra hundred calories over and above the goal that I'm trying to reach, I know that it won't have much impact, but just in terms of something like a mental strategy to make sure that you don't sort of go off track because oh well I've gone over my calorie budget anyway. So that's a little tip that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, if that does happen to you and you feel like that is throwing you off, rather set your MyFitnessPal calories a little bit higher um, and know that you're aiming say for 1.5, but if you perhaps go over to 1.6, just because you needed some extra mayo or you needed to add a little something, um, then it's also totally okay to do that. Remember that your like maintenance calories or your calorie deficit is also just an estimate. So if you do go up a little bit or down a little bit, it's still not the end of the world. So I just wanted to start off with that. Let's get straight into the food. It's around nine o'clock now. Um, I've already gone to the gym this morning. I've been trying to go a little bit earlier than usual so that I could get my day started and not have like a huge break in the middle of my day where I kind of, you know, like to just be sitting down and focusing and doing all of my exciting work that I've been doing. Um, so I've already been to gym. I've just had a coffee this morning and my pre-workout. So I'm gonna make another cup of coffee now, um, which I will show you guys. And then I actually haven't been doing intermittent fasting um, as strictly as I used to. I actually now at around half past 11, 12-ish, and um, have some protein oats. Well, like my protein dessert oats, oats, which you may have seen already on my Instagram, but I will show you guys how I make that. And yeah, I'm excited to take you guys around on all the meals, all the food. <laughs> okay, let's go make some coffee. I thought I would just show you guys my little home loungewear vibes outfit that I'm wearing today. So this little short set is from Cotton On and it's really cute and really comfy and it's still warm but still quite cute and obvs just in the slippers. Guys, this is literally what I wear and I either stay in my gym clothes or I've got some kind of loungewear on. But at least if it's a matching set, I feel like I feel like I'm still, you know, a little bit stylish, having a little bit of style. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, thanks Cotton On. Okay, let's go make coffee now for real. Another cup of coffee. I'm using oat milk today. I actually really like this one and it's got a nice earthy flavor and I'm just doing an espresso, which is basically zero calories, the actual coffee. Um, and I heat that up in my frother with two sachets or two little pulls of canderol. And that is a beautiful, delicious, frothy coffee. Okay, my girl, so it is around 11.30 and it's finally first meal of the day time. So I haven't been doing intermittent fasting as much anymore. My schedule has changed a little bit and I've been training a bit earlier. And I found that eating really late because at some points I was actually eating as late as like one or two, that I just get way too hungry. And the point is 
not to get to so starving that you actually no meal will fill you. So I've been doing a delicious protein oats at around half past 11, 12, and then I have my lunch at two. So let me show you how I make my delicious protein oats. Like every, every day I'm like, let me try something new. And then I'm just like, I can't, I just crave it. So delicious, so good. So let me show you guys how I make it. Okay, so our first meal of the day is going to be oats. This is probably one of my favorite meals of the day. Um, it honestly is like pudding to me. So I'm using 50 grams of oats. I'm using a sprinkle of salt, which always helps to bring out the flavor. Trust me, you need the little bit of salt. I've added water, I've cooked it in the microwave, and now I'm adding um, some 15 grams of protein powder, which is basically half a serving. I'm using my Metalab, which is really tasty and delicious. I've got a discount code for you girls, Lean Girl 15 to get 15% off. And then I'm adding three sachets of candle sweetener because I like it sweet. I like my oats to taste like pudding. And as you'll see, it's really delicious and thick. And then last but not least, I'm gonna be adding some delicious nut butter. This one is just almond nut butter. And you can see I like it because it's quite runny and it's easy to drip all over that beautiful breakfast. Okay girls, so here is my first meal, which is my delicious protein oats. Can you see that? Oh, the texture, it's like, it's basically like cookie dough. It's freaking fantastic. And it really helps keep me quite full, thanks to the protein, thanks to the nut butter, until lunchtime, which is gonna be around two o'clock. So I'll put the calories up of this onto the screen so you guys can see, and I will see you at lunch. I'm now gonna do a bit of work. I'm actually planning a whole lot of new recipes for my Lean Girl Kitchen Coach. That is my ultimate recipe hub. Babe. Mm. I know you're recording. What are you drinking, man? I'm drinking a protein smoothie. Who's, who's protein is that? <laughs> protein beef. Okay, so yes, I'm gonna head back onto my computer here and I'm gonna be planning some new recipes for the Lean Girl Kitchen Coach. I got lots of ideas from you guys on your favorite comfort foods. So those are the ones I'm working on. Let me know in the comments if you can guess what they're gonna be. Good job, I'm gonna eat this now and then I will see you at lunch. Lunch is on the go and I'm going to be making a tuna slaw with some delicious garlic cheese breads on the side. I've done this one on Instagram. Well, I've just posted up the recipe, but I haven't shown you guys how to make it. So we're using tuna today. It's actually a really cold, miserable day in Joburg. So I was thinking of doing something warm, but what I really love about this tuna slaw... Wait, what are you doing? Moving the light. And uh, um, what I love about this tuna slaw is it is a huge meal. And I don't know why, but I am so hungry today. I'm starving, just starving. So I really want to make a huge, delicious party meal. And so my tuna slaw is going to be it. I will. I'm gonna get the cameraman to help with the rest of lunch, but I'm gonna put the camera down and show you guys how to make it and then I'll show you the final product and put up the calories so that you can try it too. Let's get started. This is my most exciting thing of the day is eating. When am I most happy, babe? When you wake up next to me. That's a lie. That's a pure lie. It's only because you bring me coffee. Otherwise, we should try it. Don't bring me coffee, I'll be miserable. I believe it. 100% true. Let's make some tuna, some slaw. Okay, so I am starting off with some shredded cabbage, which is like coleslaw, basically, from Woolworths. And then I like to add a little bit of greens as well. So this is just baby spinach, which I am going to chop up too. And as you can see, it's a really nice big bowl. And then I've got some rosa tomatoes. These are my favorite tomatoes. They tend to have a lot more flavor and they're quite a lot sweeter. I find than just normal um, big tomatoes or even the cherry tomatoes. I really, really love these. I can basically eat an entire thing. Um, and then I'm gonna add some gherkins. I find that the sort of vinegar flavor is really yummy and always works well in a coleslaw. Then I'm going in with my tuna. It is in brine and I added a whole tin. And here's a little trick. I actually use my little tuna tin to mix 
a little bit of my um, salad dressing, which is some vinegar, some garlic powder, and some trim mayonnaise as well. And then I'm seasoning it up with my favorite spice, which is Funky Oma. I think this is the black garlic salt one. It really goes with everything. And then you just mix it all up. And if you like me and you love vinegar, you can just add a little bit extra. have it. Now I've got my sandwich thins from Woolworths which I have toasted in the toaster and then to make this into a garlic bread I sprinkle a little bit of garlic powder um, and then I've got 20 grams of cheese which I'm going to melt onto my sandwiches and that is going to go next to my beautiful salad. Babe, please tell me what is this MasterChef's creations? Guys. We have uh, pea marbles. <laughs> And we have um, deconstructed popcorn um, with a little bit of like a burnt crisp to it. All purposeful, of course. Guys, do not put peas in the air fryer or corn. And that was just like the smatterings of cheese that I didn't use. <laughs> Look how beautiful mine is. <laughs> Yummo. <laughs> Okay, so here is a serious question that I have asked Gillan and he concurs. Has a sweet ever saved your life? <laughs> There's many sweets. Sweets are actually heroes without capes. <laughs> what does that say? Do you remember Thunderhead? <laughs> All was well, another day saved, when his cape snagged on a missile pin. Diner guy snag on takeoff, splash down, sucked into a vortex. No capes! No, oh, go on, your new suit will be finished before your next assignment. <laughs> the hero is about capes. This, this is serious, people. Have you ever... No, babe, babe. This is serious. Have you ever been somewhere and like you're in a queue for like a really long time or like it's just something to really long and you're just so hungry and you're so thirsty and all you want is just something nice and then you look in your handbag or like in the car and there it is a sweet that's just waiting to save your day and then you eat it and you feel so much better that happened to you let me know in the comments i want to know has a sweet ever saved your life i'm actually upset that restaurants don't give sweets anymore like i would return to restaurants just because they gave me a sweet like food if i had food poisoning i will come back and give me just a small token of your appreciation <laughs> okay maybe not food poisoning but anyway i like to keep a little packet of sweets in the drawer just for that moment where you need a little something sweet but you don't wanna have a whole lot of calories. And sometimes just a tiny little hard sucking sweet that you can't eat a lot of is the answer. So I'm gonna have this and then Ganan's gonna make me something delicious to drink, tea or coffee or something like that. And then I will see you at my next meal. I'm gonna burn whatever I make you now. <laughs> Put it in the air fry. <laughs> okay, my girls, so it, we are back in the kitchen. It is now, I think around half past four. And I always love to have something sweet, like a sweet snack in the afternoon. So I'm gonna try my hand at some flapjacks. All of my protein pancake recipes are actually like normal pancakes or crepes, whatever you call them. So I haven't actually done any flapjack recipes and so I've been wanting to add one to my Lean Girl Kitchen Coach. So let us give it a go. These are gonna be the banana kind. So if you're not a banana fan, sorry but i actually really do enjoy them so let me give them a whiz and let's hope that we get flapjacks and not some more pancakes 
Okay, so let's go with our flapjacks. So I've got a medium sized banana, which I'm just popping into my Nutribullet container. Then I have got egg whites from Woolworths. This is really handy, especially if you don't want to waste any um, yolks. So I'm doing 150 mils of that. And then I'm doing 15 grams of um, oats. Any oats will do instant or rolled oats. And then I'm going in with some caneral sweetener. You guys know I love my sweetener. Again, a pinch of salt, which is going to bring out the flavors. And then we do want just half a teaspoon of baking powder, which is going to help our little flapjacks to rise. Then head over to the stove and I've sprayed nonstick spray on a pan and I'm going to go ahead and make my little flapjacks. Guys, they turned out so good. I'm now gonna top them with my Walden's Farm syrup. By the way, you can only buy this on the website now on Walden's Farm. Unfortunately, they're no longer stuck at a discam, but it's basically calorie free. And there you have our delicious Lean Girl Flapjacks, which are like 200 calories for this entire stack. I am so happy. They turned out so good. I'm gonna add this recipe to the kitchen coach. And they smell phenomenal. So there you have afternoon sweet snack. And I will see you guys at dinner. This is reality. I had to spread them out to get some delicious sauce on all of them. I just wanna see Galan's face when he sees I've got pancakes. Babe, baby. This one is even cool. He'll give me he'll give me words afterwards that he's got no pancakes. The loudest chewer award goes to Mr. Gillan Gork. Okay, dinner time, and we are going to be doing a little curry tonight, but not a spicy one. It is just going to be a mild one because Gillan can't take the heat in the kitchen. You know what they say. Okay, this is actually a recipe that my friend has shared with me um, and I haven't tried it before. So this is gonna be the first time and hopefully if it turns out well, it will also be added to the Lean Girl Kitchen Coach. It is a pumpkin based sauce for our chicken curry. And I mean, can we just not always just be winning when we've got pumpkin? So this is how it's gonna go down. One bag of 500 grams pumpkin, which I basically just make a hole in the packet and I steam it in the microwave just like this. My girls that are asking me how I get my pumpkin and butternut so good, it is because I steam it first. Do not throw hard uncooked veggies into your air fryer. It will not work. Throw them in. And then what you're gonna do is, we are also gonna roast some cherry tomatoes. Do not throw them in whole. Please cut them in half because we're gonna have fireworks. I'm gonna then not just talk the whole time. So I'm gonna cut these and then I'm gonna throw some spices over them and I want them to roast. The flavor does change once you've roasted it. That is then gonna be have our sauce. We're gonna blend it up in the Nutribullet and then I have got some chicken breasts that have skin on them, which I don't know why. I ordered them from online shopping. They clearly decided I needed some extra skin, some chicken skin. I might just take it off so that the calories will be less. And then I'm gonna slice these up, or Gillan's probably gonna slice these up into strips, and we are gonna brown these with some spices in the pan um, until our sauce is ready. So I'll show you guys when I get there. Okay, so I will admit that this is the same pan that I used for my flapjacks, <laughs> spray and cook. And you are going to throw in your chicken breasts and you want the heat to be already be quite hot um, so that we get a nice bit of browning on our chicken. Spicing it again with my funky Oma spice and what would a lingual recipe be without a bit of garlic powder. Then I've also got a bit of ginger powder which didn't want to be my friend. <laughs> 
and then I've got some garam masala um, which is going to give us that beautiful curry that bit of spice it's not really a hot kind of curry um, but it's just got some nice spice and flavor and then I am popping my roasted pumpkin and roasted rosa tomatoes into my Nutribullet container and again I'm going to be spicing that up important to spice your food as you go otherwise everything will just taste pretty bland and then I'm throwing in a little bit more garam masala into my sauce and then again just to make it a little bit more creamy I'm going to be using some fat-free cottage cheese And there is your beautiful sauce which you now want to coat your chicken in and just put leave it on the stove for a little bit longer to all boil up together mm. honestly this could be a soup in itself good and scared of carry mm. Hey! Mmm. What's in there? Pumpkin, roasted, roasted pumpkin, roasted tomatoes. It is done. I am so chuffed with this. It turned out so beautifully. The flavor is phenomenal. Like, it's not actually even that it's pumpkin. It's like the most warm, delicious, the spice combos, the pumpkin, the roasted tomato, everything is just working so well. We are gonna be serving it tonight with some Lazy Girls rice. This is just the cooked rice from Woolworths, the basmati rice. Another really nice one that I like, also a lazy option, is the bulgur wheat and pilaf chickpea. Pilaf, yeah, really, really yummy. Love to add that to my um, salads as well, but we're gonna go with some traditional rice, which always goes really beautifully with a curry. Of course, you can cook your own rice if you're not as lazy as I am. So I'm weighing it out here. We're going for 85 grams of rice. It's like actually really delicious and sticky. I love sticky rice. It's like the sushi rice. Don't rob me of my five grams, girl. Uh, <laughs> 85. And then I'm gonna weigh out 120 grams of our chicken. Obviously it's got spices on it now, so that also makes it a bit more unusual okay we're gonna go with that we're going with it and then i also did some extra little veggies um i always actually had some leftover pumpkin because i didn't want to make the pumpkin too overpowering but we are gonna serve it with some little baby marrows as well oh, we're getting, getting a little tomato a little tomato in there and there is our beautiful lean girl what are we going to call it, babe? Pumpkin, roast, roast of pumpkin and tomato. Rosa, rosa pumpkin curry. There you go. There is my dinner. Really delicious, high in protein, and definitely going to end off the night with a sweet treat, which I will show you guys after this. We are going to enjoy our dinner and look out for this recipe inside the kitchen coach. It's coming for you. The final meal of the evening is of course a little something sweet before bed that has to happen so we've got three options here okay option one is my very favorite grenade bar which by the way i cut in half and then put into the freezer so they like about 110 calories each um because my calories are a little bit lower at the moment i obviously don't maybe my my Dessert is not as much as 220 calories, so I cut them in half. Also a good idea if you have two flavors that you can't choose from, you can have one of each. Okay, so that's contender number one. Contender number two is low-fat frozen yogurt from Woolworths, one of my all-time favorites. Also about 120 calories, a pop, and then contender number three, coming in at 115 grams, <laughs> at 150 grams, is a mini shortcake chuckle slab. And this I think is around 80 calories. Which one is it gonna be? Babe, what do you think? Chuckles. You guys let me know in the comments which one you would choose. Grenade bar, frozen yogurt, or have yourself a chuckle. Galan's having a chuckle, but only one, baby. Hmm. Only one. 
See, that's why they're in separate baggies. I think I'm gonna have me a frozen yogurt. That's what I feel like. After that little curry, even though it wasn't spicy. You can make it spicy, by the way, if you want to. So I'm going to have this. I'm going to end off the video here. I hope that you guys enjoyed my what I eat in a day. Um, it should be around 1,500 calories. I will put the final total of the day up with the macro and calorie breakdown. And remember, all of the recipes that you saw here today can be found inside my Lean Girl Kitchen Coach. So if you haven't yet, check that out. Click down in the description um, and you can sign up to get access to all of my recipes and take the guesswork out of all your meal planning for fat loss. And remember that your meals do not have to be boring to get lean. You can eat all the delicious things as long as they are in your calories, as long as you're hitting that protein. Um, you do not have to go hungry and you do not have to eat dry chicken and broccoli as you have seen today. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, sending you so much love. And again, let me know in the comments if you want me to do more full day of eating for you. Love you and good night. What do they say? Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. What is that on the Truman Show? Don't know. Bye, love you. The first mystery box of the year. Oh my god, this is so good. Evokes some creative concoctions. Chicken feet ice cream.